right. This is odd. It is like a ghost town at school, um, which I kind of expected because it is school. All uh, New York colleges are actually getting closed. So today and Wednesday are my last days and then everything turns to online for the rest of the semester because of this whole corona stuff. So yeah, I'm going to my class today and then I have class on um, Wednesday and then that's it. So now I'm just kind of calling appointments and trying to book them out a little bit later just to see kind of how this whole coronavirus thing goes on. Tomorrow Weston has an eye doctor appointment and they're hard to get in with so we're going to keep that appointment. But like I had a dentist appointment. I made it towards the end of April just to see. I'm hoping that this will be quick and with schools closing and all of that and people you know really not going out and about as much hopefully this will kind of subside a lot faster than they're expecting. But Weston's out of school until April 13th, which is insane. He has like a whole month off, literally, because he had a few days off before um, they even decided this. And I am just doing online schooling now, so it's just, it's weird. But um, I'm just, I'm praying for everybody that's going through this right now, which is literally all of us, which is kind of, I feel like it makes it a little bit easier because we all kind of get it, you know? Um, I think the whole stocking up on things like it's an apocalypse is a little bit ridiculous because we just went and got regular groceries last week we got a little bit more than normal but just in case you know but we didn't buy 30 packs of toilet paper and like just things like that it's like you know what you're making it hard on everybody else especially the elderly I've actually been reading that a lot of stores are opening up an hour early and only allowing like senior citizens to come in and shop for an hour and I think that is just absolutely incredible and I think that is necessary because they're the people at most risk and people are so selfish in stocking up like an absurd amount of things and making it so other people can't even get one thing that they need so it's I think it's definitely necessary to do but I also think that the media is not helping I think the media is blowing this way more out of proportion than it needs to be I don't know it's a little bit crazy I think and it's a little bit um blown out of proportion but that's just my opinion I'm sure that all of you have heard that already so I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna eat my orange and then go into class all right guys I am home we just finished up lunch can you say hi to everybody? He just had some Hawaiian delight baby food and he loves it. But I wanted to show you, Weston has this Bible um, and this was his first ever Bible, but something tragic happened yesterday and I'm sad that it is ruined. It, um, pages are all stuck together. Grant's bottle, like he had a water, a big water container, and yesterday it ended up dumping and it s swelled the binding of the book. It's just, it, it's in really bad shape. So I'll probably keep this um, as like a keepsake, but I do want to get Weston a new Bible. See, a lot of the ink is all messed up. I want to get him a new Bible. Um, but the only thing is, this is a nice one because it's like a legit Bible and all, but I kind of want it to be kid friendly just because this one is really, really hard <laughs> to understand. So I think a more kid friendly, see the pages, they, they're they just all stuck together. It's sad, but he loves to bring this to church every week. So I'm going to have to go to a bookstore and get him a new Bible, hopefully a kid friendly one. So that's unfortunate, but... I've got a little bit of mess left to clean up from lunch, so that's the plan. Paisley's down for a nap, and Weston actually has his cousin Carter here to play with. He's gonna actually spend the night because being that it's not technically a school schedule anymore, we're doing an at-home school schedule, and um, he's doing really well. He did a couple assignments today at Grandma's house while I was at school, and yeah, that's basically all that's going on right now. My heart goes out to all those people that are losing their jobs or currently, you know, being forced to not go to their jobs. And it's just, it's sad and it's got to be really, really hard. I 
my heart goes out to the families where childcare is their only option, um, you know, while they work. If their jobs have not closed and they the kids are out of school, where do your kids go? It just, it has to be hard. Anyway, just thought I'd update a little bit. Uh, it's crazy, the everything that's been going on, and I just, my, my heart goes out to anybody that has been infected with this, and I hope you all have a speedy recovery, and let's just hope and pray that this virus can leave faster than um, it came in. So. All right guys, Ryan came home and then he left because he has a doctor's appointment to do like a re-checkup, I guess. It's like a third, second or third checkup on his finger. Um, you guys know a few months back he got hurt at work and he hurt his fingernail and they had to completely surgically like remove his fingernail. So that was gross. But we are just hanging out. The kiddos are playing outside. They're playing kickball. Um, my nephew Carter is over. But this little man just woke up from a nap. He let mommy... It's so funny. The, this onesie is like short in the front. I don't know. It's, it's like 9 to 12 months. But it just doesn't fit right. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> I can see down your whole shirt. You don't seem to mind, but I think I'm going to grab a different one. It's kind of dark in here. All right, let's see what he has in here. He is starting to get low on clothes. I'm going to have to go up in the attic because I saved all of Weston's old clothes. Like, these are all three to six, and that won't do. And I'm so sad. Like, he never got to wear this cute little, it's like a little wife beater. How cute is that? And he never actually got to wear it because it's too cold out. So, cute little bear. This is actually one of Weston's old shirts. So, I should have grabbed a diaper for him. I got to change him too. Ugh. Monday tonight. I know most people do Taco Tuesday, so you're probably like, Julie, you've got it all wrong, but we were going to make steaks, and because Ryan, now you're too close, we're going to make steaks, and because Ryan has a doctor's appointment, he's not going to get home in time, and I really don't want to butcher some good old ribeyes, so he is the steak connoisseur, so we'll leave it up to him. Maybe he can make those tomorrow night. So where are we going? Bye, kids. Yes, we have all the kids. <laughs> Where are we going? Yeah, that's... Eye doctor. Yes, we are bringing Weston to the eye doctor today to get his eyes rechecked because he's still having some issues. Let's see, I think you guys might go for a little ride. Okay. Um, he's still having some issues, so that's what we're doing today. I got everybody out at 7.35 this morning. I still have to put my face on, but I'm going to do that up at my mom's. And that's the plan today.
Today I had my last class ever at a college. Um, I'm gonna be finishing everything online. Sorry, I had to check on the baby. So yeah, um, all New York schools are closed for the rest of the semester. I don't know how else it is in the rest of the United States or whatever, but because of this whole coronavirus thing, I'm no longer going to school and it's kind of bittersweet. I'm excited to be home a lot more because as y'all saw, my house is a complete and utter disaster. So I'll definitely get more time at home, but I'm just trying to like register everything. Um, my heart feels really heavy and almost like anxious because of everything going on. I've tried not to like overreact or anything like that. And I've tried to like stay calm about it all, but it's scary what's happening. Um, people are dying. There's like no public school systems. Every, all the schools that I've heard of anyway are closed. Uh, I'm scared for our economy. Things were just starting to like be picked back up things were looking better people were opening businesses getting jobs people were buying homes and we're currently trying to sell a home and as of right now i don't think that's going to happen anytime soon because of how crazy everything is um becoming it's putting things in a new perspective because things aren't completely accessible really really easily right now and it's making me be so much more appreciative of the things that we do have in our life and that how easy it has been. So I'm just praying for all the families that have been affected, which is mostly everybody. <laughs> um, I'm praying for those that are out of a job right now. And I just hope that everybody is able to stay on top and we can all get through this together with everybody's help and that our community will come together and I'm just, I don't know, I feel like I'm in disbelief of everything, so that's just about it for now.